Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. We're looking today at, is the rapture a blue beam event? Now, I really wasn't acquainted with this till a commentator on the YouTube channel said, trust me, September 18th and 19th, and you're probably gonna be seeing this video after September 18th and 19th, that the uh, CIA is going to simulate a rapture and they're going to take all the Christians up who knows where I didn't catch all the details and that then they're going to say the rapture happened and then the book of Revelation is going to come to pass and have the rise of the Antichrist in the temple. Now, the thing about that is of several things, maybe I don't think there's technology to pull that off, but be that as it may, my mind went to what if the rapture really happens? I'm not saying September 18th and 19th, and then everybody says, ha, 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 we know the rapture really didn't happen. That was just a blue beam event done by the CIA. So the Christians, they're really on a, an asteroid somewhere enjoying life with Elon Musk. And we know that the rapture really didn't happen. And the rapture really did happen. Now, I will tell you, at this moment on planet Earth, except in most of what's known as developing countries, some would call third world countries, I would say so few people will be taken up in the rapture that it's not going to make big news. I think the rapture could happen as of this moment. And they, you know, if the media didn't cover it, it just wouldn't be that big of a deal. It may be a week or two in the news and then you're going to have a fire or an asteroid pass by or something and it's off the news and it's off the charts. But I just thought that was an interesting perspective that somebody has convinced themselves and maybe several somebodies that the rapture is a blue beam CIA sponsored event. And I could see how Satan actually could use that and it be a real rapture, a real catching away of the church. And uh, they'll just blame it on a blue beam event. And, you know, with so many post tribbers out there today and post millennials, uh, post millennialist that, uh, you know, I'm, oh, I'm a post millennial, you know, I'm 54, but no, that's a joke. But uh, that, okay, if you're a post tribber, almost every post tribber I know is trying to figure out the antichrist and how to avoid the mark of the beast and they're not winning so they're gaining they're living their whole life on kind of a false premise in a sense if it's indeed a false premise that the rapture is uh, not post-trib, and I'm still studying that. I still want to know I, if you had, I'd say probably it's pre-trib, but I have fellowship with, with all belief systems in that because I don't look at that necessarily as a salvic doctrine, as is who Jesus is, how to be born again, and how to walk in holiness. I think you can have some latitude on that particular doctrine, and some people don't, especially some post-tribbers are very militant that you cannot. But again, their focus tends to be, let's identify the Antichrist, let's do that. And I know the pre-tribbers can be guilty of that as well, but at least they're not trying to stockpile food to stay away from the uh, mark of the beast system and stuff such as that. Um, so is the rapture a blue beam event and it is going to be a false rapture? I would say, as far as I know, technologically and scripturally, that is not true. And I would be interested to see where they're getting their justification for that. Um, and so, but I could see to where that could be something where a legitimate catching away harposia of the church parousia happens and they blame it on that. And that's how, and so even if you're a post-tribber at that point or a mid-tribber or post-millennial, just like that was a psyop done by our intelligence agencies and the people really are not dead. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, no, I do not think the rapture is a blue beam event by our intelligence agencies. God bless. We love you. Just live for Jesus and stay in the book. 
go to church, read the Word, pray in the Spirit. That'll help you make it. Be obedient to Jesus in all things. God bless you in Jesus' name.